to apply this out in an appropriate way. We determined that square footage might be an appropriate way to apply out insurance and therefore took the square footage of the two places, adds up to 47,000. Then we can easily just come up with percentages in the same fashion that we can then use to apply out the 7,200 by taking the 32,900 divided by the 47,000. So we just take the one department divided by the total, that's 70%. We do that for the other 14,100 divided by 47,000, 30%, adds up to 100%. So then we could take these items, these percentages, how are we going to break out the insurance then? We're going to break it out 70-30, 70-30%. So then we take the 7,200 for insurance, 7,200 times 0.7, 70%, 5,050, and 2,160. So that's how we broke it out over here. So again, we know the total. We don't know how to break it out. We then determine an activity base to do so. We decide what an appropriate base would be. Instead of using sales this time, we could have. If we used sales, we would just we would follow the same pattern we did last time, which is to take these 6436. We decided that 6436 breakout shouldn't apply to the insurance. We think it would be better to use the 7030 based on the square footage because square footage is a better cost driver, a better indicator of what the allocation should be. So then we'll do the same thing again, but now with depreciation. So same kind of method. We're going to say, okay, here's department A, here's department B. Once again, we're going to use square footage, which seems appropriate for depreciation. If we're using depreciation on the building, we would think, okay, then maybe that's square foot. So we'll take the 32.9, the 14.1. That adds up to 47,000. The 32.9 divided by the 47,000, once again, is that 70.30. Same breakout. This whole area is the same. Only difference is we're applying that same activity base now to the total depreciation. We know what the total is. We didn't know how to break it out. How are we gonna break it out? 70, 30, why? Because we're basing it on the square footage. So now we take the 70% times the 15, eight, 11,060, the 30% times the 15, eight, 4,740 to get our total 15,800. That's gonna be our breakout for depreciation. And then we'll take the office, same kind of concept, different activity base. So we'll say A and B for the office expenses here. We have the office expenses. We decided that sales isn't the best one to use. We don't want to use the square footage for the office expenses. We think the number of employees is most relevant there because these are going to be office expenses that, you know, probably going to use by the employees. The one with more employees probably uses more office expense. So we're just going to count the number of employees per office and say, all right, well, there's 72 employees for department A. Uh, department B, 48 employees. Once we have that, we add them, them up, 120. We do our ratio analysis, which is each department, 72 divided by the total, 120. That gives us 60% here. And of course, 48 over 120 gives us 40%. So how are we going to break out the office expenses? On a 60-40 basis, A and B, based on the number of employees. So then we're going to have the 46,000 times 0. 0.6 and that's going to give us the 47 6 and there we have that now remember when you do these kind of allocations we also want to just we want to be able to to explain why we chose this activity base how we're going to do this you can imagine us going to meetings with the department manager of a and the department manager of b that are going to be kind of um, discussing these allocations they're not they're going to want to have different allocations that benefit their department so, of course, we're going to have to be able to say, why, why are we allocating on these activity bases? Uh, what's the relevance of, of these activities? Is this fair? And we're going to have to explain the, the process and say, hey, we're trying to make this as fair as possible. We think this is the best allocation we can do for these different types of expenses. Here's why. And, and go forward from there. And it could be a constant kind of negotiation type of process in terms of the appropriate allocations.